you know, it's amazing because being over there in Europe, or over here in the United States of America, including Canada, uh, the whole entire map and the composition of the actual country itself is being changed, uh, be it by immigration or refugees. And um, if you're coming here to America, um, you're getting ready to enter into a quagmire and a melting pot of confusion because we got this thing called a constitution and most um, countries in the world do. Um, but in this constitution, uh, it tells you that everybody has a right to freedom of religion, whether you believe or not, and that nobody can infringe on those beliefs. Yet and still, when you look at the laws here in the United States of America, they do everything they can to infringe, not only to infringe, but discriminate against that. And it is assumed, notice I said it is assumed that America is a Christian country. But I'm telling you right now, living here is not a Christian country. They may use the name. They assume that they have morals and values. And if you're going to be any country in the world, and you call yourself a country that has morals and values, where do you define that morality from? Do you just make it up of your own conscience, or do you actually get it from the Bible? Uh, I mean, because the truth is, most countries that I know, they develop their morality based on some book that has been passed down by the prophets, their prophets, their gurus, their imams, their whatever you want to call it. Um, so all countries where you try to just throw away the religious element, what's, I mean, you can do that if you want, but if you're going to have a society, it has to be based on some form of morality because history proves and history shows that whenever countries decline from morality and become spiritually bankrupt, the country starts to fall apart and it's coming off at the wheels. That's just the truth. If you have no morals, you have no values, the country, it goes to hell in the handbasket. And America is the poster child for that design. Things that used to be an abomination in this country is now called legal, lawful, and it's celebrated. Yeah, different forms of lifestyle that used to be defined as mental illness is now considered normal. It's now and then the people who were normal, you know, such as heterosexual um, people, um, you know, marriage. Because um, mo most people think traditional marriage is one man, one wife. Okay, where do you get that from? If you say you're a Christian nation, see, it's it's a bunch of confusion. It's a bunch of statements that, and generally, are diametrically opposed to each other. I mean, because the Bible don't talk like that. But yet still, that's what they try to impose upon you. You don't believe me? Go to the religious institutions. They tell you all kinds of things that has nothing to do with the Bible, but they say it comes from the Bible. For instance, Sunday. It's the Lord's Day. Wow, well, I'm a student of that Bible. I've been reading that Bible diligently for over 25 years, and I still ain't found it. <laughs> I see the Sabbath. The seventh day, I don't see what they're talking about, but this country is convinced it's there, but I challenge you to look and see. It ain't there. Even Jesus Christ himself didn't even go to church on Sunday. <laughs> but they make up stuff as they go. And they make up holidays. They make up everything. And, they, and, and you know what's amazing? In a country that tells you you have freedom of religion, you have the people who don't believe, pagans, and then you have the people who don't profess anything as Gnostics, atheists. Then you have the people who claim to be Christians. They all celebrate the same pagan heathenistic holiday. So what is that? <laughs> what is that? When you throw Christmas and Easter in and use an unclean rabbit laying eggs. What says when does a rabbit lay eggs? I mean, and I'm just... Anyway, it's off the chain. So now Fox News and everybody else is talking about how their refugees, be it in Europe, America, or in Canada, or in the uh, colonialized nations, uh, they are having trouble and they're struggling to assimilate because when refugees come in, they're coming in with their culture, they're coming in with their religion, they're coming in with their laws. Well, they need to assimilate and do things the way we do it. 
Well, what if the way you do it is morally reprehensible? What if the way you do it is wrong and it goes against conscious? I mean, after all, that is what the Constitution is all about, right? That's what the Citizens' Rule Book is all right, all about, right? I mean, after all, you got the Declaration of Independence, you got the Constitution, you got the Citizens' Rule Book. That is pretty much what this is all about. Freedom and liberty. And I'm not going to say that part because there's no such thing as that. Uh, but anyway, all these illusions and delusions that are going on. And um, it's utterly remarkable how that they can tell you you're free when really the truth is, if you live in America, we all are still on the plantation. If you're not a millionaire, if you're not a politician, you're on the plantation. You just have different levels of jobs or where you work at on the plantation.